What's up guys, this is Raptor RC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to break in a electric brushed RC motor. I'm going to be using a Traxxas Titan 12 turn motor as an example. And do not do this with brushless motors because they, they're brushless, you don't need to break them in. I'm sure there's other ways and methods of breaking in a motor, but this is how I break in mine. So what you're going to need is the motor two wires of any color, a D-sized battery, electrical tape, and ice cold water, d distilled ice cold water in a cup. And after you break it in, you're going to need motor cleaner, and I use 3-in-1 oil. So what I did first was I took the wires and hooked them up to the battery by taking the black electrical tape and wrapping it around the wires when I have them touching the battery. And the reason I have two different color wires was because the darker color one I put to the negative side of the battery and the brighter colored one I put the, to the positive side. And over here I'm gonna have the black negative wire go to the black negative wire on the motor and the positive one to go to the red, which is the positive one on the motor. So I got the motor hooked up, and now I'm just going to put it in the cup. And, oh, it spilled. But now it's breaking in. And I think I put in a bit too much water, but okay. So it has been about 20 minutes, and I'm not sure if you can see this on camera or not, but it is starting to get a little dirty in there. Um, I will give it a little bit more and show you guys a bit later. So it has been about an hour, and I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there it is. It The water looks pretty dirty, and be sure to get the tape on tight to the battery, or else it will stop working sometimes in the water. Okay, so the battery only lasted for about an hour and ten minutes, but when it is all done, you can go ahead and unhook the motor. should look nice and clean. Um, but the water, it really didn't get that dirty, or the, d the brushes just settled. And so when it is done, you can wait for it to dry for a little, then you can spray it with the motor spray. And after that dries, then you can put a little drop of 3-in-1 oil, is what I use, on the shaft here and the shaft here. And after you just spin the shaft, when you put it on, wipe it up, and you're ready to go. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to subscribe and like. Thank you, and have a nice day.